it's Shireen, welcome back to Beauty Editing 101. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a glowing text effect in Final Cut Pro. If you watch Patrick Starr here on YouTube, you're most likely familiar with this effect because he uses it in his videos and thumbnails. So let's just get right into it. I already have a clip preloaded into my timeline, so now I'm just going to go over to the Titles and Generators tab, make sure you're in Titles, and then go ahead and select basic title, click, drag, and drop this right into your timeline. Now I'm just going to click on basic title to make sure that it's selected, and then go over to your title over here, and I'm just going to change it to subscribe, because a little shameless self-promo never hurt anyone. Now I'm just going to change this to a different font, Gonna go in Bayboss New and then bump this up, make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. I'm gonna click and drag this over here. And now let's get into the glowy part. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and select glow. Then press on show so that you can see more of the customization options. I want my glow to be red to match my shirt, so I'm just gonna go in and pick a red color. I'm going to bump up my blur to, let's go to like an 8, and then I'm going to also increase my radius. I'm going to take my radius up all the way to 100%. I'm actually going to take down the blur to 7, and I'm going to take down my opacity to 80. So the radius is pretty much self-explanatory, it's just a radius of the glow. So when you have it at zero, there's nothing, and then as you gradually increase your radius, it grows, and you see more of a glow effect. And the blur is just how harsh or smooth the effect is. So when you have it here, it's more crisp, and then when you have it at a 7, it's more blurred out. And then opacity is just how opaque the color is. I don't want this to be super intense, so I'm just taking it down to 80 to kind of soften the glow. Now you could leave it just like this, but what I want to do is actually go in with a drop shadow. So the drop shadow is also pretty self-explanatory. It just drops a shadow underneath your text. I want a similar red color, so I'm just going to go in and pick a red color. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as long as it's similar, it is fine. So now for this one, I want the opacity for this to be at 100%, only because I want to intensify the glow. For the blur, I'm going to go in all the way. I want maximum blur, so I'm going to take this up to 10. For distance, I'm going to take this to 7. And then for the angle, I want this to be down and to the left, and you can actually see this more if I take this out. The drop shadow shifts as you move the angle, and I want this to be kind of down and to the left, so I'm going to take this to around 136. Perfect. Now I'm just going to turn my glow back on, and that's it. It's literally that easy. Adding a glowing text effect to your text is super simple, and of course you can change around the font, and change around the wording, placement, all of that, and just have fun with it. It's super easy, and I hope that you found this helpful. As always, let me know in the comments below what tutorial you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!